What's up guys? Today we're going to go over the Gate D2 series of heads. Um, the fine folks over at Gate sent this over for us to check out. Uh, it's just an amazing package, Pelican style case. Um, all kinds of goodies inside, plus the three heads. If you want to purchase these, just click the links below in the description. It'll take you to Universal. They've got them there and they're awesome. Alright, let's go. All right, so let's crack this thing open. All right, guys, here's what's in the box. Sweet gate hat. There's the D2GB, the D2T, and What's this one? Oh yeah, the D2C. Plus some of the new gate mesh, which is cool. I'm excited to try that out. Uh, along with the hat, there's a there's a lighter. One of those scary lighters that everyone loves, except I, they terrify me for some reason. One of those things, uh, which is cool. It's really good for burning strings. And then. Uh, this little Dewalt Leatherman style tool, which is cool. It goes along with the theme, the black and yellow, the yellow Pelican style case. A lot of attention to detail in their, in their, I don't know what you call this. I hate saying the word influencer, but it's sort of like an influencer pack. Um, don't ever want to consider myself an influencer, but the fact is companies do sometimes, sometimes send me stuff. So that's cool. All right, so let's, uh, I'm going to put this down. And we can get into this piece by piece. All right, so we'll start with the one that most closely resembles the uh, the gate D, which I have over there. That's okay. We don't need it. Um, this one it looks similar to the to the the original gate D. Obviously, the can openers have been diminished to uh, you know more closely abide by the rules. The can openers are substantially reduced in terms of the angle. Uh, they did kind of have a downward angle last time on the D, on the gate D. Now they're, they're really, they've sort of neutered them a little bit, but I think they're still going to help just give some you know, weird dynamics and checks. And they've added the, so that would be the pull uh, part of a check. You poke and then you pull back this way. Uh, and then the, this part of the rail is kind of for pushing. So you throw poke checks and it, you know, Actually, I think this is going to really be effective, maybe even more so than the top. Um, just because a hard poke, you know, you, you hit a glove, a cuff, uh, the, the shaft, part of the head, anything, as you're pushing through, that's going to help disrupt and dislodge. I mean, such a, such a unique head. Sidewall's totally different than the D2. I mean, the D. This is the D2. And they've also added these... I think they call them impact ridges, these little bumps down the, the sidewall, just to help, you know, grip and help dislodge the ball. Anything it can, any kind of added friction or, you know, benefit you can get to help dislodge the ball, they're kind of throwing it in there, which I like, I appreciate. You know, more friction, more, you know, area to, to cause havoc on your little attackman buddy who you've been defending all game, and he's already put two up on you, so... You got to get serious. This one is um, seems like it's you know it's nice and wide. It's a good one for close defenders. Uh, obviously, you know depending on your play style, you could use it for anything. Uh, def I wouldn't recommend it as an offensive head, but you know it, an LSM, and an LSM that even goes downfield and plays a little offense, it's fine. It's gonna work. But this is the widest of the three, I believe. Uh, just a great looking. They've totally changed the sidewall uh, sidewall struts. Um, but it's strong. It's stiff. Uh, and this is the new air scoop. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but there's a hole, a line that goes right through the head and it obviously reduces weight. This is not a heavy head for a defensive head. I don't have the weight, but it's five ounces something. It's not heavy. So the air scoop just reduces um, resistance, you know, when you're throwing and catching, not catching obviously, but throwing, uh, throwing checks, you know, air passes through the scoop can increase your speed. Uh, apparently it helps with 
efficiency on ground balls as well. You know, yeah, the way it's situated coming in for a steep ground ball, air's just flying through there. I don't know. I mean, it's uh, it's something. You know, they they throw a lot of innovation at their heads, and I'm down for it. You know, will it work? Who knows? But I love that they just throw the whole kitchen sink at their innovation in new heads. You know, they try a lot of things, and you know that's how gear progresses. So kudos to gate for just getting weird and this thing's weird you know just like the gate d was weird but it's i think it's going to be really popular with defenders close defenders all right next we've got the um gate d2t and t i'm not sure what t stands for i mean maybe like transition like if they're thinking uh you know like a box head it's very similar to the to D2C, uh, but it doesn't have the flare. So as you can see, this is wider here and then narrows at the back, kind of pinches in, uh, just so you get the good ball retention while also having that, that wider face shape. So it's also got a different back rail. This has kind of like the um, that torque bit that kind of sticks in on the inside. It also has the push, pull, can opener things, and the air scoop, along with the impact ridges. Uh, very similar to the C. The T is very similar, but this one's more for like short stick D MIDI. I mean, even two-way MIDI who's defensive minded. Um, LSMs, absolutely. You know, especially an LSM who maybe has a cannon, stays on for man up, or, you know, is okay. Uh, staying on, playing a little bit of offense in transition. Like, um, I think this is going to be a really popular one. I think all, they're all going to be really popular, but this one really seems pretty versatile. Like it can do a little bit of everything. Then we have the D2GB. This one's funky. Man, that is a weird looking profile, huh? But this is just supposed to be a ground ball vacuum. I think in a tight face shape, it's light. They're all light. But it's stiff. It's not as stiff as the other ones. Uh, so again, maybe LSM, um, short stick D mid again. You know, even that that skilled close defender who clears on foot and then can create some offense. Like, um, but I think primarily this would be an LSM head uh, or, or a short stick D mid coming off the wing, fighting for that initial ground ball off the face off. Uh, apparently the Geometry for steep ground balls is there. It's got the air scoop. Um, it's got the impact ridges. It doesn't have the can opener like the other two or the, the bottom can opener. Um, so it's less of a defensive threat, uh, but it's going to win ground balls apparently. You know, the way it's designed, that's what it's good for. I'm looking forward to stringing all of these up, you know, just seeing what they, you know, if I can notice a difference with ground balls. And whatnot. This might be the one I use just because it's the weirdest looking. I got a season starting up in uh, about a week, I think. Coaching youth again. See how that goes. But yeah, these are awesome. The the. It's like they just throw a bunch of stuff at the wall. Like I would like to see the whiteboards in their you know <laughs> design phase because if this is the stuff that sticks, imagine all the weird stuff that they came up with that that didn't end up in the final production version. There's some weird stuff. Yeah, these are so cool. Um, I would recommend you know, seeing some close-up pics. I'm sure you, the people have been posting these all over the the internet, so you can find pictures. Uh, get your hands on them if you can. Uh, go to a brick and mortar, you know, just uh, figure out which one's best for you. I I don't think I was very clear on what, what does what for each head, but that's because it's it's not very clear. Uh, and I think that's by design. You know, they each have features that are good for defense. If I, had to, if I had to say definitively, which I can't, but I will anyway, the D2C close defenders. Um, the... D2GB, uh, LSMs coming off the wing for ground balls, um, and, and maybe short stick D mids. And then the D2T, uh, a T is probably transition. 
Um, so players who are on playing defense, you know, probably LSM or short stick D mid, who then aren't called off immediately or don't have to come off immediately when we transition onto offense. They clear the ball, they get it down, they stay on, they create some offense, you know, because it's got that nice narrow face shape, but it's going to cause turnovers uh, on defense. And if you lose the ball on offense, you can get it back. But like I said, that's, that's not written in stone what these are for. If you want to play LSM with the uh, C, the D2C, yeah, go for it. It'll work. Absolutely work. You know, it's similar in face shape to some popular D heads, uh, wide. You know, it's got all the ball disruption technology. It'd be great for an LSM. It'd be great, great for close. It'd be great for a short stick D mid. Uh, and if you're a close defender who doesn't feel like he needs that extra width because maybe you take it downfield and you'd like a little bit of a, of a tighter face shape for ball retention, then the T. Maybe the T's for you. Uh, the GB, like I said, LSM off the wing. Um, close, absolutely. The GB is a little less stiff from the other two, but it's definitely going to cause some damage. Uh, it's strong enough to be an LSM head, 100%. Um, short stick D mid, also probably close. You know, If you feel like you want the light version, you feel like... You know, you have to get real low for ground balls when sometimes with a six footer, you can't get low. You got to come in steep. Maybe you want something that's just going to hoover them up, right? Anyway, that's about all I have. Gate, well done. What an amazing package this is. Uh, you've outdone yourselves. And just, I love that you're getting weird and you're being innovative. And, you know, in a game that's constantly changing rule wise, uh, you know, sometimes we have to keep up with gear. Uh, you know, pocket technology, <laughs> it's its crazy. You watch a game of 12-year-olds today compared to a game of 12-year-olds 12, 12 a decade ago, and these kids don't lose the ball. A, the defenders are just, you know, they struggle to, to dislodge balls because these kids have these just amazing pockets with great mesh and, you know, good heads. And defenders, you know, when you're 12, you don't really have the eye-hand coordination to, you know, to be surgical with your checks, um, and you're not really allowed to body up yet. So mostly once the offense gets it, they're taking it until, unless they throw it to the wrong kid, which you see a lot. So uh, stuff like this that benefits the defender I think is huge. Just trying different things you know, to give a little more advantage to defense I think is huge because – you know, it's really turned into an offensive game, which is okay. You know, that, that kind of makes it fun for non-lacrosse fans. You know, goals are goals are exciting. Defense is less exciting. It just is the way it is. Um, but I think to even the playing field, you know, Gates doing some, some cool things, trying some interesting stuff to maybe give a little more advantage to defenders, and I like it. All right, guys, that's, that's all I've got. Again, I'm super pumped. These are awesome. If you decide you want one of these or all of them uh, click the link in the description below it'll take you to universal lacrosse it's an affiliate link if you buy one i get a cookie and i like cookies season starts real soon at least for us on the west coast we're just about there team meeting is next week which should be interesting back to coaching youth see how that goes uh all right guys thank you for watching gates thank you for sending these over they're amazing well done uh, and i'll see you next video